Hey guys, Brickyoyo here, and today we will be looking at the uh, Christmas Carol Charles Dickens uh, gift with purchase set that uh, Lego had kind of during Black Friday. Um, it's in like a really thick box, uh, which is like kind of the newer box size, I think, um, that some of the $20 sets have been in recently. Um, so that's noteworthy, I guess. It's just, it's really thick. Um, you got Scrooge up there, and yeah, when I first saw the set, I was pretty excited about it. Um, I really like the, the story of the Christmas Carol, so I knew that this would be something that I wanted to try to get. So yeah, we're just going to open it up. <laughs> oh wow, interesting. So the instruction booklet is like a like a book. Um that's pretty neat actually. Um and then the sticker sheet. There's a surprising number of stickers for how small the set is, um, but that's fine, because I think that these look pretty good and they add a bunch of detail, so Cool. I will build this up and we'll take a look at it. All right, so here is the completed model. And wow. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I've seen reviews of this and stuff, but it still really surprised me, like just how much detailing went into the back here. Like, look at this roof. It looks fantastic. And like, I guess it's sort of designed for you to be able to sort of display it from like any angle because um, like even this looks good but then you know you could have it sitting like this um, and they continued the the book the page texture all the way around I do wish that they had corner pieces um, for these elements um, just just to make this look a little bit better but I mean it's it's fine I also wish they made those for like the one by two masonry bricks but anyway like these but a corner version. Anyways, but you know, they don't have to and not for a gift with purchase set. But the minifigures, like, wow. Um, Scrooge looks pretty proper. Um, then you have Bob Cratchit and Tiny Tim. Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Um, there's a lot of stickers on the spine here, but they look pretty good. And even this little Christmas tree build, it's pretty advanced for like a gift with purchase. Like I'd say there's some like creator expert level building techniques in here, um, having like jumpers that are um, placed in the middle of studs there. Um, it looks pretty good. You know, there's all these stickers for the floor. I do wish that this looked a little better. Either it wasn't there at all or uh, they did it some other way because having having it like super detailed here and then it kind of stops in this area looks a little bit weird, um, but I get you know, I guess it's just a cost-saving measure. But one way you could improve this is by actually using one by fours to like, just kind of create the wood texture with just the separation between the tiles yourself if you wanted to. Um, the fireplace looks really good. And yeah, um, this door does not open. It's only attached by one stud here. So like, if you really wanted to, you could. Um, I really, for some reason, I don't know why, but I really thought that that door did did turn in. But I guess then you just have like a one by one pillar right here, which would be super flimsy. So I, I guess that's probably why they didn't do that. Um, but this really is sort of set up to be the door. So I guess this scene sort of happens later where Scrooge is going to visit um, the Cratchit house on Christmas day. Um, because you got Tiny Tim, Bob, and Scrooge there, and those are, I guess, kind of the three main characters, if there were going to be any in the story. Um, I think for if only getting one Christmas Carol set, I think um, Scrooge's office would be a lot more recognizable. But I guess then um, Tiny Tim wouldn't. It wouldn't make sense for Tiny Tim to be there in that scene. So I guess they went with this, and it's fine. But I guess I think it would have been really cool if they 
had Scrooge's office or like Scrooge's bedroom and had all the ghosts. Um, just because I think that that is a little more instantly recognizable. Although for having these characters, I think this makes sense. I also wish that Scrooge, Scrooge wasn't so um, sour in his facial expression right here. Um, because like in this scene, he's happy. Um, but obviously they went with like the classic look for Scrooge, which is fine. Um, but it's not super accurate to the scene. So I don't know. It's just a little bit unfortunate, but it makes sense. The drawer here is fine. I don't know. They like to put drawers on a lot of like Christmas gift with purchase stuff. There's kind of no purpose to it other than like one minifigure or the extra pieces to the set. It's it's nice that they did something with uh, with all of this extra space down here. I also really like how this sort of platform could be used. If you took off everything and just had the book, um, you'd probably need to retile it too, which would be a little bit annoying, but you could sort of set up your own Christmas Carol scenes. I, I could build Scrooge's office if I really wanted to. So, I mean, it it it's serviceable. It works. Um, I think there's a lot of potential to expand this. Um, you know, you could build your own uh, scenes on it, um, just taking off this layer of tiles and probably doing your own, but you could use the book base to show off other uh, vignettes of the scenes from the book, which, I don't know, maybe that's something I would do. Make sure you're subscribed. But yeah, I mean, it's free, so like, can't really complain, but it's really good for being free. <laughs> You got some really nice minifigures and an interesting build for the house. And like even it just like even this area looks good and it just didn't need to. Um, but yeah. And there's just all kinds of nice. It just uh, I don't know. It works really well. And I think this sort of item works also as like a tiny little di Christmas display piece. So it reminds me of this set a little bit. I guess just the dark red. If you haven't noticed, I really like it. Um, but yeah, so thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like this and you're new, give it a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!